hanging out here in Hastings today with a young man who's making quite a name for himself on Friday night over at the Brewerton Speedway. Max Hill has a couple of eighth place finishes, and he's also finished second in his heat a couple times. Almost uh, was in position to win a heat race on Friday night with a restart. Uh, big block next to him. You guys know how that went, obviously, at that point. So we'll find out what's going with Max. Of course, he's graduated from OCC. He'll start a new job here soon. Looks like things are going well, Max. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? No, you know, we're doing okay. We're out here Good. talking to you today. So yeah. uh, let's start with all the stuff away. Uh, OCC, obviously, it went pretty well. Yeah, it was uh, a great experience working through the P-TECH program and getting my mechanical tech degree through OCC and uh, being 19 years old with a college degree under my belt, yeah. even in associates, is huge. And now I'm already on to bigger and better things. p is that just Central Square or is that other uh, Oswego County schools? No, it's actually all nine districts put together. So I grew up, there's each year they accept a class of 50, mm -hmm. and I had friends from Sandy Creek, APW, Central Square, Fulton. Nice. They're all involved, and it's kind of cool because it's a small group, but you meet all sorts of new people there. Is it just an engineering path, or is it other things? It's a mechanical and electrical engineering pathway. Okay. But with it being an associate's degree, it's technically mechanical or electrical tech. And then if you go on for two more years, then you would earn your engineering degree. Nice. And of course, you only had to go to college for one year because of that. So if you have kids in, in the uh, Oswego School District, think about that and making a plan. So how was this past Friday? It looks like we were off to a pretty good start from what I saw from your Facebook postings. Yeah, it was a really good Friday. We've had a couple... Dicey weeks um, just with handicapping. We mm -hmm. missed like five weeks with some engine trouble. So a few weeks ago, I was starting tail every night. But I uh, had a good start up front, was running with Davis in the heat race. And then the feature was real solid. Um, we were actually, I thought for sure, a top five. Really? Just a couple of race incidents, you know, sets you back. But top tens running against those guys are you know, wins for us. So we Yeah, I want to go good. back to what you were talking about in the heat. Because is it technically a dirt 358? Yeah, I have a dirt, a, car, 358. Yeah, a okay. dirt car 358, um, but with working with Brian Donath, you know, I'm real pleased with the, mm -hmm. you know, horsepower we have, and there, it's a solid motor, and at Brewerton, people would be surprised, you know, it's, uh, we're down 250 plus horsepower, but we've, we've seen to turn some heads this year, so I'm happy. So when you're lined up on a restart, it's still early in the night, so the track isn't totally black slip top to bottom yet. Yeah. Uh, there's really not a heck of a lot you could do unless they screw up. Is that about as simple as it is? Yeah, it's tough because I almost look at this as a wind-up toy. You know, once yeah, once yeah. I get going or any of us in small blocks mm -hmm. get going, we're pretty competitive. Mm -hmm. Just on a – the track was fast Friday. I thought it was really good. And um, an initial restart is pretty hard to beat these guys. So uh, that's usually where we lack. But once we get going, you know, it's uh, not too bad. So where would you want to be ideally? Do you want the bottom where you got to pinch it? Or I would think you'd almost want the outside where you can keep it wound up. Am I right? Yeah, I like running the top. Um, I've gotten a lot better running the bottom, though, mm -hmm. especially at Brewerton. And with the 358, it almost seems not possible to woe the car down that much. Yeah. But the last couple of weeks, I've done a lot with setup. And if I'm able to run wherever, you know, mm -hmm. the bottom is tough because any slip up really kills a good run. But... Top's great. Um, when it slickens off, I can run the middle pretty good, which is cool, mm -hmm. the way I got things going now. So momentum's key, but I'm impressed with myself that I can move around a lot more than I used to. And, of course, with Brewerton, if your car's not handling right, you really can't run the bottom, can you? No. It's not correctly. No, it's tough. You know, the entry to one is so tight, and yeah. you want to keep your speed up. Mm -hmm. The car's got to turn. If it doesn't yes. turn. It doesn't rotate. No, you know, it's, done. it's rough. So. Or if it over-rotates, then you're spinning out oh, in front of, of everybody. And then yeah. If it pushes, you're going to go up, and they're going to get under you anyway. Exactly. So, so. How does anybody win a race there at all, Max? That's what I want to know. A lot of experience, <laughs> that's for sure. Evaluate yourself. Are you about where you thought you'd be at this point? Or a little ahead, a little behind? Uh, I'd say right where I expected to be. Okay. You know, there's some you know expenses and challenges you know we haven't experienced yet until now which we knew would be a possibility running mm -hmm. this type of class but uh i had enough confidence in myself running with these guys you know there's a lot to learn and mm -hmm. i've learned so much yeah. it is so cool getting to run with guys i grew up with jimmy phelps and you know i used to watch his lines and now i'm starting to do the same thing and nice. it's just a cool experience and i'm i'm proud of what i've accomplished so far and we definitely have room to grow but i think we're right where we expected to be with these guys do you find yourself doing that during the races sometimes like if jimmy gets by you and he's running a different line than you is it time to kind of drive in his tire tracks and see yeah i've uh especially with tim sears friday we had a good you know battle going and once he got by me you know it's almost like 
follow what they're doing. Yeah. And it's a little different the way they drive a big block there to where I have to drive the small block. That's but true. it's really cool all the years watching them in the stands growing up. And then you're out there with them. It's <laughs> almost surreal because they're just race competitors now. Right, so right. I don't really think about it that much. But when you're really out there and you start following them, it's, it's cool, you know. And yeah. sometimes I've been in positions where I've had to let off or change lines because I'm, you know, as fast or faster. So mm -hmm. it's cool. And, of course, the lines, like you're talking about, too, they can shut it way down in turn one and leave you. You can't. <laughs> no. No, and that's where the big learning curve comes in. But then, like, as a driver, especially when I started running sportsman there, you have to learn where to gain speed where yeah. they're not. I think I'm one of the best at going into turn three okay. momentum wise, just because with the small blocks are less erratic. So I can drive in really deep and it's not as, there's not as much, you know, forward momentum. And then it's just a lot easier for me to keep on a solid, you know, throttle pace. Mm -hmm. So I try most of the time I gain is either exit of two or entry of three. Okay. You know, that's where I try to make up some, of course, Ground. one thing I learned from my season there was if you do get that perfect line through one and two and you're going into three faster than you've ever done, it's very easy. That wall can come up pretty fast coming out of four. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And I, it's, we've had some nights where it's close. I mean, yeah. Friday night, the bank coming out of two is on the wall. So oh. you're like almost right. You were like, we're really riding on top of the wall coming out of two, but out of four, there's like nothing to stop you. Yeah. So yeah. every lap to keep your car square mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, it's so close, yeah. but it's kind of that fine line of, mm -hmm. you know, running that close keeps your momentum up. You really try to shut it down and could kill a run. So it's close, but it kind of makes it interesting, you know. Of course, the regular season, and this is hard to believe, is almost done. We have a few is. more weeks left and that's it. Yeah. What are your plans after Labor Day? You know, it's a little tough just with our program and, you know, motors and stuff are just so key. We've kind of had to limit our races a little bit, but we're going to run – you know, the races we can go to. It's okay. kind of up in the air. You know, well, Super Dirt Week, Outlaw. We'll run, we'll run, you know, Outlaw Weekend at Fulton. I love going there. Yeah, and, and Small Block's probably the right call. A lot yeah, of I mean, a so. lot of guys did good. Prentice did great last year yep. with Small Block. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll give that a shot. We're not going to, you know, run Oswego. We'll just do okay. satellite shows. We're definitely going to go to Brewerton. That's right, because most of them are 358 shows anyway. Yeah. So, perfect. So, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to a couple, you know. I know you want to do Oswego at some point, though. I right? really do. It's just I don't have a lot of equipment. And, you know, it does take a lot. I know it what does. it takes to go there and be competitive. And it's just it's just real tight right now, especially just to run twice a week is almost out of our range, just yeah. trying to keep up with expenses. But, yeah. you know, we're doing our best, and we have a – I work really hard to have a nice piece every week. I'm not bringing some Joe right. Jalopy to the track. You know, I work hard to have nice equipment. It's just – the amount of nice equipment's not really there for something like us we go, but that's true. One yeah. of these days, I would love, love to be there. Uh, I want to thank Garofalo's importing right on the main drag on us we go. Go on up there, tell them I sent you, man, and, and uh, do the um, let me see the cold cut bread. Try that one sometime. It's unbelievable if you like sausage bread and stuff like that. So cool. appreciate you making time for me. Enjoy your little time off before your the next stage of your life begins. Thank and you, uh, Doug. proud to say I know you and I wish you all the best, man. Appreciate it. Thank Hit you. Hit the bluey guys, that'll subscribe you. Hit the likes, subscribes, all that cool stuff. We got more coming. We're gonna be very, very busy this week.